Hey guys, today I'm going to show you two ways to create rounded corners in Procreate. I'm using the iPad Pro with the Apple Pencil and the Procreate app. If you're new to Procreate, I also have a video called 25 Procreate Tips and Tricks, which I suggest to watch first because as I draw, I'll be using these shortcut actions. I will link that video below. So grab your favorite tea or coffee and let's start drawing. All right, I don't understand how this is not a feature yet. And if it is, we're all gonna be like singing for joy. First, let's go into our settings and we're gonna turn on the drawing guide. So let's go to canvas and hit drawing guide. Now you have a grid to work with. Then we're gonna grab a monoline brush and a black. And then we're gonna draw a circle. So don't let go of your Apple Pencil and tap anywhere on the screen with your other finger and it makes a perfect circle. So let's just make sure that the circle is right on the grid. And then we're gonna duplicate that layer. Go to the arrow tool. Then we're gonna make sure we're in uniform and make sure that the snapping is on. And that way it's gonna to snap to the guide. Next, I'm gonna merge these two layers together and duplicate that again. Go back to the arrow tool. Then we're just gonna shift the circles down depending on how big you want your rounded uh, shape to be. So let's just say right there. Then I'm gonna merge this down again and I'm gonna create a new layer only because if I make a mistake, I don't have to start from scratch. So I got my monoline bar still and I'm gonna draw a straight line. Now guys, you don't want this happening here. So let's just redo that. Once that's all done, let's merge this down again. So you have one layer and then you can just color drop it. And there is your rounded corners. And if you wanna change the color, that's pretty easy. Just grab your color and color drop it. Now, if you don't wanna fill it, I've just gone back a few steps where we're still on two layers. So we're just gonna grab the eraser brush, make sure we're on the circles. And we're just gonna erase just the circles. So if you do want a thicker line, you're just gonna have to start with a thicker brush. So make sure that the circles and the line are the exact same size when you're using your brush. The second way we could do this is by drawing a shape. So I'm just gonna do a rectangle. And then I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm just gonna use a random color just so that I could differentiate. And then I'm gonna draw a circle. And then I'm just gonna move my circle. It's gonna to try to snap to the grid again. So I just wanna make sure that my rectangle is just on that grid. All right, then we're gonna duplicate that circle. Let's merge the circles together and duplicate that again. Then merge all the circles so that they're on one layer and then let's fill them. Next, we're gonna go into the selection tool. Make sure you're on automatic. And then we're gonna grab the black. So now it's selected all of the black areas and then we're gonna go into the rectangle, get our eraser, and then we're gonna erase just the corners. And then we can get rid of the circles. And here's what we're left with. We're just gonna have to clean up a little bit. So things like this. And if you take a closer look at the edges, you can see there's a lot of pixelation going on here. So if I were to pick between the two 
methods, I would probably pick the first one. So it just looks a lot cleaner. Anyways, there are your two options. Which one do you prefer? Leave a comment below. For more drawing tutorials and gadget reviews, be sure to subscribe to Draw with Marina.